1907 atlas. We start world map. You know. Yeah. And the map of the United States. So, well, states. And the flag of the world map. America only has around 46 stars around this time. Italy still has this as its flag. Russian Empire is still around. So is the Japanese. Denmark is still using its royal standard. Netherlands still called Holland. Well, I mean, like, it was always called the Netherlands, but uh, they call it Holland. But here we have the old flags of Norway and Sweden, Belgium. Well, it's just Belgium's flag with the crest on, but whatever it's called. But here we have when Serbia was still called Serbia. Here's its old flag too. Romania when it was still called Romania. It's a variant of the Swiss flag. A variant of the New Zealand flag. Liberia. Morocco old Morocco's old flag, Egypt's old flag, Arabia's old flag, well Saudi Arabia, but Montenegro's old flag, Mexico's, you have the German Empire along with its navel, a variant of Australia's flag, the Nicaraguas. There's I noticed there's two turkeys. What's that about? But it's still an old flag because they updated it later on. Santo uh, Dominican Republic is still called Santo Domingo. Paraguay has its old flag. Ecuador has its old flag or variant. Portugal has its old flag. El Salvador, well called Salvador, has its old flag. Clearly Venezuela and Colombia have its old flag. And Ireland's old flag. Korea's old flag because no, before the split and they had a different flag before the split. Believe it. Yeah, it looks very similar to mine. You have Iran or Persia, what's that called? Clary Kajar flag. And a China still flag. Very hopeful. See Thailand so called Siam and has the elephant flag. Myanmar so called Burma it has that as its flag. So we have Austro Hungary's flag, which is just marked as Austria because you know it's it's more of Austria. We have Brazil's old flag because there is a complicated history on the flag. Here we have the Spanish insane and the merchant flag. Greece's old flag, yes, there's differences. It's just a lighter shade of blue and Haiti's old flag. I don't even have to explain why. So next, here we have Atlas of the Earth. The oldest is ocean and oldest is land. The, the characters of land on Earth, like so, for example, deserts, Sahara, religions of the world. You can still see it. Islam is still called Muhammad. Is um the re principal religion of the United States, really Catholic nation, and uh, just a uh, map of North America. We just have old maps of the states and territories because a few a few states were territories at this time. I'm from this state. I don't live there anymore, but I ain't telling you where I live now. Skip all this. It's just the same old crap. No different borders. It's from 1907. Here we have a historical map of America. Like, the evolution of how it got its land. And the provinces of Canada. A lot has changed. The West Indies. Little has changed. So a bunch of independence stuff. The map of the Panama Canal. United States zone. And Cuba. Because down See, South America has a lot of differences. It's just with Peru, that's all. In Paraguay, Bolivia has 
looks a, a bit of Paraguay's land. Peru has a bit of uh, Colombia's land. Uh, just a little teeny bit of Ecuador's. And here, I don't even have to st say. Also, by the way, this this is Turkish territory right here. It's, here you have the map of Europe. See Russian Empire, Austro Hungary, Germany. France also has a weird strip. Turkey still is in most of the Balkans. And the British Isles. Ireland, Wales, and Scotland, because you know, Ireland doesn't have independence yet. Here we have a map of Asia. Ottoman Empire, King Dynasty, British India, you know. You can see here that's. Here we have the Philippine Islands, Australia and its provinces, and how they thought the Arctic looked like. They're a bit right. Do you, two. Oh, that's, this is Antarctic and this is Arctic, so. Here are principal cities of the United States and principal cities of the world. That's, Regionals, the president of the United States. Obviously, this is outdated information because at this time, Theodore Roosevelt is the president. Another map of the Panama Canal about black and white populations and like rivers, I guess, and the principal countries. For some reason, they did not add Bulgaria's flag. I don't know why, but that's it for this book. We have the 1967 book. We are starting with a map of the world on the Arctic perspective in this weird version. An Antarctic perspective. Uh, we only have Europe. Clearly, lots of change. I mean, it was 60 years, so. Yugoslavia, a bunch of communist nations, Czechoslovakia, Germany, still split. USSR, so. Man, let's just see. Nothing has changed so far in the England, in this province, but Northern Ireland is now mentioned as a province because, you know. Also, nothing has a change about Scandinavia, but Germany. Clearly, East, have you noticed East German flag is actually supposed to be smaller than the West German flag? It was supposed to be. And here. Here's Bonn. Many people thought the capital of West Germany was, was West Berlin, but it was really just Bonn. Like, right there. Let's see. to Netherlands, Belgium, Luxembourg. So Luxembourg's flag wasn't mentioned last time, the old 1907 book, and Belgium doesn't really have its um, emblem on its flag. So, nothing changed. This is France's old flag. See, this is the Napoleonic flag they use. In the 1970s, they changed the shade of blue to match with EU. They changed it back in like 2020 or something. But just get on the flag. And or is old flag. Yes, it has a lot to do, to do with the album. Clearly, Spain's old flag, the album. Like Portugal. Also, nothing. San Marino's flag changed a bit. It's the shade of blue that changed. Switzerland still uses that weird variant of flag, and this is Liechtenstein's old flag. Yes, the album. Here we have it's nothing changed about Hungary's flag. Czechoslovakia's flag is here. It's just Czechia's flag, but Austria's flag with its album, which is pretty clearly not seen today. But what? Yugoslavia still exists. Bulgaria, Albania, Romania are still communists, so they have their communist flag. The little elbow. Albania just added a star on top. Romania. 
Poland, a quite history of Poland. I couldn't show the one on Germany because cancel culture. But uh, anyway, here you have the Soviet Union flag. And the only republics they mention and show their flags are Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania. Just kidding, that was before they got absorbed into the Soviet Union, but it's apparently, it says here that their puppet states that the U.S. does not recognize. A lot has changed in Europe. The Asia has been head start. Alright, so first... You see Iran. It's still, uh, let's start with this area. Saudi Arabia has its old flag. Yes, it has a lot of do to do with the sword and the lighting. Yemen's are split, so we so the non-communist Yemen has a star, or in communist Yemen or South Yemen has like a weird. It, it's like a blue Sudan's flag, but blue and a star. Here we have Muscat and Oman's flag, which is just plain red. Maybe reusing the Moroccan. And here, Chulco, oh, so this is Oman. Chulco Oman is the UAE. They they had two flags at the time, this and this. Qatar is its old flag, yes. It has to do with the size. Bahrain, yes, it has yeah, its old flag. It's how it's spelled. And um, the stripes here. Nothing's strange about Kuwait. And you can see the neutral zone is still here. Iraq still have its old Saddam Hussein borders. Now we're in Turkey, Syria, Lebanon, and Cyprus. Cyprus flags changed. They turned down the. They made the land here darker. In Syria, yeah, it still has its old Union flag. It just moved two star, one star to stars. Really but the fact it's not disputed, and you, and you can more you see more of the British territory. No, Israel and Jordan. Here, Jordan has Palestine, and Israel has the Gaza Strip. But nothing changed about the flags. The flag of Iran and Iraq. Yes, that's its old flag. For some reason, you used the two stores. It's supposed to be three. I don't know. I mean, they switched it up a bit, but but clearly, I don't even have to explain. If this is more, this is before nineteen seventy nine. The revolution. A bit of change. So Bhutan is not fully recognized. Not only Sri Lanka is still called Sri Lanka. They had little. They added little differences to the flag. You see these things here? These random stripes? They changed it. And they made the flag a bit darker. Pakistan still has... Um, what was it called? Bangladesh. And the Maldives is still called the Maldives Islands. It just has no difference today. But it's India. Technically, Nepal, Ceylon, and... Burma. See, this is Burma, still under British protectorate. Because I can tell from the flag. Thailand changed because, you know, the shade. Laos, before it became communist. Cambodia, still republic. It's technically its old flag because before the communists, I, I, I don't think so. Vietnamese people would be pleased with me saying this stuff. North Vietnam and South Vietnam still exist. Even though North Vietnam technically still does exist, but and it's just Mongolia's flag I changed here and what is that? What's what's a Taiwan okay? I don't really know if I should recognize it or not. It was like in the early two thousands they threatened Two knots. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just not gonna say anything about it. Nothing has changed here. Philippines flag is old. Yes, that's the shade. And then, wait, it, Portugal still has time or less thing. Sarawak is still British. So it's still a shade. Samoa still calls Western Samoa. Nothing's changed. Australia is in Africa. 
a lot has changed. So, bananas is still called the homie, and it's still technically the old flag because it became communist in 1975. Mm, Mauritania's old flag because you know 2017 they changed it. What was it? 2016. Tunisia's old flag in 1999 they made their crescent a little smaller. And Burkina Faso is still called Upper Volta and it uses the old German flag. Even though it's not really supposed to be the old German flag. Libya technically still have its old flag because you know it turned green in 1971. United Egypt is called, still called the United Arab Republic, and so it has the goddess here. Chad still has the Romania shade of blue. Sudan, I don't even have to explain it. It doesn't have the, the pan-Arabic colors, but uh, Ethiopia, it's still a kingdom. You can see the line. Cameroon's, this is Cameroon's old flag because... There's supposed to be one big fat star in the middle and these two stars, yeah. And here, this is technically Congo's and, and the boat, the Congo's old flag because this became communist, but they changed it back. This became communist, they changed it back, and they changed their name to Zaire, so they didn't change it. Technically, Malawi's old flag because in 2010, they changed it. In 2012, they changed it again. This is Rwanda's old flag. Pan-African colors. Somalia is to call the Somali Republic. Zambia, because the shade of colors. Alright. Lesotho has its own flag, so South Africa is still technically a British country. Madagascar is still called the Malgazi Republic, and Rhodesia is not called Zimbabwe, and change its flag. And this is like Rhodesia's like first flag. They change it like the so 70s to some weird Nigerian flag. Alright, now we're in uh, South America. Venezuela has its old flag because they recently decided to add a star and kind of banish the seal. Nothing changed with Colombia. Ecuador in 2009, they made a flag a bit longer. Suriname. I don't even have to explain. Change. Change it. Like, I think with the state, the 1978 Brazil's old flag because in 1992 they did a little adjustments. This is one of many variants of the Bolivia flag, so it's technically not the old flag. This is Paraguay's old flag. Yes, it has a lot of. It has a lot of things to do with the album. Mexico's old flag. You, you wonder why? You see this weird weed looking thing? It's more... It's like... It's covering the whole eagle. It's not... Still in like... In like... The 1980s, they like changed it a bit to make the thing a bit shorter. Here. This is the British Honduras. is. You know, in Honduras, the gold flag. Nothing has changed. It's Haiti's flag that's changed. And that's it. What's this? Ew, why does Canada's flag look like that? That's basically it for this one. In 1986. Right, where should we start? You know, nothing really has changed. Most of the changes are here. Finally, we use the Switzerland's main flag. So it's like 10 times. Yeah, the old flag that, that were old I mentioned before, yeah. So clearly Austria has, uh, looks like the album has expanded. There's not much change so far. Most of the change happened in Asia. Saudi Arabia changed its flag. Now, this is the People's Republic of Yemen and the Yemen Arab Republic. United Arab Emirates is known in a lot. Yeah, they exist now. 
and Iran can use it, its modern gun right now. Which, uh, Iraq jump. The Iran just turned Islamic in uh, Iraq. You know, Bhutan is finally recognized. Ceylon, Sri Lanka is still not out of being called Ceylon. And it changed its flag too. Afghanistan also changed its flag, it's a communist flag. Oh, I forgot to mention the last time Afghanistan's flag was old. English is independent, Maldives, Islands is not called Maldives. Yes, Mongolia's flag is still old. Well, Philippines now has independence. Malaysia seems to have Sarawak now. Papua New Guinea and Brunei now have independence. And these countries are now independent. Oh, like I said, nothing much has changed except like, some parts of Asia and Africa. So clearly Benin is in its communist flag, Cape Verde's old flag. Guinea-Bissau now has independence. So has Cape Verde. Martinia, so has, so has held home for Japan. And uh, Burkina Faso now exists. But it's still in the phase of being called Upper Volta. Libya has its green flag. Egypt, Sudan now have their modern flags. And Ethiopia has just erased the lion out of the flag. Now... This is Congo's old flag, communist flag. Rwanda still has its old flag. It just updated the R a little bit. Zambia's modern flag, technically more like. Zaire now exists. Equatorial Guinea has been given independence. Again, Zimbabwe exists. South Africa still has and Lesotho still have their old flags. Comoros, oh, Mozambique also has their old flags. Is independent. The Comoros has their old flag and also got in. Same with Mauritius. No Madagascar is just called Madagascar. The Seychelles has their old flag. And nothing really has changed for this except from Suriname changing the flag. And the rest, just like with the provinces of the United States. The exact date for this. But I know it's in the late 1990s. Let's just get to the fucking land. I don't give a shit about this stuff. Oh, right, let's start with the state flag, actually. Now they just show the state flag. Every. So. Nothing else in the I think that. No, that's all. So. Nothing really changed. Well, if you go to the south. Ooh, the south. See Nebraska? Just kidding, that's not its old flag. Wait, I'm pretty sure Utah has it. Wait. Utah, Utah, Utah. Uh, I think it's in another page, but here's the south. Louisiana's flag changed that they added some additions. And, uh, yeah, Mississippi's and Georgia have their interesting flags. Arkansas, this is its old flag. Yes, it has a lot to do with the album here. Nothing really changed here. Wait, they're showing Utah because they changed their flag. Change your flag. Just a bunch of new countries here, independence. Yeah, Belize now is independence. Wait, no, last country it was independent. Paraguay still has its old flag. It's, it's, it's gonna be a little short. So Germany is unified, Czechoslovakia doesn't exist, Yugoslavia technically still exists, and no Soviet Union. So clearly after the Soviet collapse, Nothing changed here. So. Yes, Andorra's new flag. So we can say. Not, not, not believe me, but this is Belarus's old flag. Yes, it has a lot to, to do with this part here. North Macedonia is still preferred 
to as Macedonia. Yugoslavia still exists. That's all for you. Look, Russia is still called Russian Federation. They're still called up, but it's now just short to Russia. Africa. Most, this is where most change. Clearly, um, the Cape Verde has changed their flag. And other ex-communist African nations. The Ethiopia, this is its old flag. I guess it has a lot to do with the album, like most of these flags. This is Eritrea's old flag. Yes, has a lot to do with the side. This is Democratic Republic of Congo's old flag. And this is Comoros and Lesotho's old flag. Clearly South Africa's old flag. South Africa is now independent. Wahoo! And still technically that's Malawi's old flag. Uh, let's go to Asia, where my people live. Clearly nothing has changed, but now Taiwan has completely lost its recognition in this book. But, like, this is from the 90s, so it's like the 2000s when it lost most of its recognition. But the Cyprus has its new flag, by the way. Georgia has its new flag. I was cut my phone light, but anyway, like I was saying, Georgia has its own flag. As you can see, Iraq has changed it to Saddam Hussein's flag. K -K Qatar finally stretched out their flag. Ooh. Afghanistan has their old flag once again. They have an addiction of changing flags every five minutes. And uh, anyway. And also, you can see Myanmar is, Burma is now starting to be referred to as Myanmar. It, ha it, it's just, it has independence and uh, it has its own flag. Here, Brunei is independent. But no, it was independent last time we saw the flag. Sorry, if I sorry, it was just a mistake I made. But anyway, let's skip this. Pretty much nothing has changed else about this atlas. Let's move, let's move on to the final one. The 2002 atlas. Now let's open, open it up. So... Nothing has changed with the borders, it's sad to say, except the fact that, uh, where is it? As you can see, uh, Yugoslavia is, is, still exists, and it's now starting to be referred as Serbia Montenegro. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of uh, this thing over here. Yeah. If you want to see what the, the changes were, we got to go to the flags. Like, unlike the other ones, they show you all the flags squished up together. Except except for the 1907 atlas. It's the same thing. So, Belize has a dull flag. I forgot to mention that. They changed it in the 2000s. Venezuela also has a dull flag. Ecuador, too. So, is Haiti. They have a lot of changes. Yes, it has to do with the album, but Paraguay still has its old flag. Damn. But uh, Libya, Democratic the Congo is, they just made it the, the shade darker, but it's the old flag. See the, what's up? Mongolia just, it looks like recently changed its flag, so, so is Comoros. Yes, this is still Afghanistan's old flag. I, I think it changed like in 2013. But, um, getting annoying Belarus. So Basically, everybody. Ooh, but in this book, Taiwan is recognized. Yeah, I, I think this book is banned in China, but. San Marino is, is it has, in Spain, have a variant of flag. Still Macedonia. Is it's still called Macedonia? Or is this Russia is also still referred as the Federation. And Iraq still has Saddam Hussein, flood Georgia. Just take a look at the atlas yourself. You can clearly see 
uh, pretty much barely anything gets changed. End of this, like, what, 30 or 40 minute video. Bye.